Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and it is my pleasure today to bring you a video that is about editing stuff that you may not have the features for. You may get something from a step file, or you may get something from an iGIS file, or maybe it's from another CAD system, some sort of translation. And I have this ring here. I uh, also put on a really nice little wood texture. <clears throat> and as you can see, this thing's made of a revolve and an extrude and a pattern. And if I want to change the number of holes in that pattern, uh, I can easily double click on the pattern feature and change the numerical value. But in many cases, uh, what you're dealing with is something where the parameters have been removed. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say menu edit surface, and I'm going to go to remove parameters. So what I'm doing is uh, lobotomizing the model. Where the heck is it? Uh, oh, uh, it's a feature. Remove parameters. Here we go. And so uh, it asks me to select the model. It gives me, I say, okay. It gives me this warning here. This operation removes parameters from all selected objects. Do you want to continue? Why, yes. And so now I have a model that is just a body sitting there. I don't have any features. Now, you may ask yourself, why would I want to do something like this? And the answer to that is, uh, is um, based in experience. See, if you have a very, very complex model that has a thousand features in it, and you're trying to uh, make model changes, design changes, by going into the features. Let's say you go to feature number 17 out of a thousand, and you hit that button and you do whatever you want to do, maybe make a diameter bigger or whatever. And unbeknownst to you, that feature uh, is doing some things on the downstream features that you hadn't anticipated. And you sit there and you wait for minutes and it comes back and it's garbage. It's a, a very common uh, experience with parametric modeling. And parametric modeling is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes you just need to wipe the slate clean and start with just this big, simple model. Now, the cool thing, the amazing thing about NX is you have a recourse. Once you have this model that's just, you know, uh, that you, and you might have gotten it from like McMaster Car or whatever, you can do a lot with it. So the synchronous modeling commands in NX are superb. Um, if you look, there's the move face, the delete face, replace face, offset, resize, blend. But then you click on more and look at that. You get like 30 more of these things. One of my favorite is edit cross section. Check this out. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to say, what I want to do is change these faces. Okay. I want to change the, uh, the uh, design of these faces. And uh, so I select the faces and I select a plane on which a profile will be created. And then uh, I go into the sketch of that profile. See, and I can take that profile and start messing with it like this. Let's push this out. And you can see every time I make a change, the model actually changes. Of course, I could do this with dimensions, but I'm just, you know, freestyling it. See, so that now is a different shape. Every time I change, I get a different shape. That is um, astonishing. Could you imagine the math that's going on behind that? So when I say finish, uh, then the whole thing updates. And that is really cool. <clears throat> One of the things that you might also want to change is the number of holes. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes uh, equally spaced. But now in the feature tree, I don't have a uh, pattern feature. It's just, you know, this body with this edit cross section feature on here. And um, you might think, well, hey, now I can't change the whole pattern. But synchronous modeling is so powerful that there is a, a feature here called resize pattern, resize pattern. How does it work? You select the face of one of the holes and NX is smart enough to uh, see and understand. There's probably some powerful AI going on in the background that says, oh, well, uh, I could see that there's a pattern there. It gives you a count and a pitch. See, there's eight holes with a 45 degree spacing. What I would like is um, 16 holes with a 22 and a half degree spacing. So I'll put in 22.5 and say apply. And look at that. It is now a different pattern 
uh, for a model that was, um, I'll use the term lobotomized. We, we got rid of all the uh, features. We removed the parameters. As you can see, if I say control E, and you look at the parameters that are now there, there are, uh, here it is, 16, this number 16, and this number 22 and a half are the new parameters that um, I put in with that uh, command. So that is fantastic. I mean, you know, anytime you have a piece of geometry that was from somewhere else, let's say you translated it from your previous CAD system, you have the power to do with it whatever you want. That is incredible. The uh, inner diameter of this thing too is something that I could easily change by doing the uh, radial dimension command. So you click on radial dimension and you select that inner diameter. It gives you the current value of seven. And I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to do something funny here. I'm going to say D equals 6.5. D equals 6.5. And I'm going to say, okay. So now what I've done is I've simultaneously changed the diameter, the inner diameter of this uh, flange or whatever it may be. And if I go to user expressions, you see I have now created a D expression here. And now anytime I want, I can click on that and change it just like that. It just, you know, it's, it's so effortless. And the thing I love about this is when I'm designing, I need um, in many cases to change things very quickly, especially if I'm taking legacy data from something else and borrowing it and I'm leveraging. And so this uh, allows me to get products out the door. Um, a lot faster, which in many cases is extremely important. So there you have it. There's a number of commands here. There's the remove parameters command. There's the edit cross section command, the resize pattern command, and the radial dimension command. And those commands give you an amazing array of, or amazing ability to change the model that you have and uh, make you more efficient. Thank you very much. My name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and this is a, another video that you could find on uh, YouTube, the Design Visionaries YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Uh, help us out. And um, I will see you online.